Yeah, let's do it. Garrosh and Antu. Nice. Hero! Victory! Get ready to fight! Let the battle begin! Hero slaughtered! Hero of... I like it. I like it. So Garrosh has just hit the PTR. And as usual, I deliver a full talent review. Uh, preview, pre preview, review. It is a review because I'm going to be able to show them. First of all, Garrosh, he is an orc warrior functioning as a main tank. And let's get to the important stuff. All will fall in the name of Hellstream. Taunt and dance. Look, Narosh. Look, Narosh. So uh, Garrosh has Groundbreaker, which is uh, an ability that looks like this. And if you pull someone in at max range, as is denotated by those lines, they'll be pulled all the way towards you. Only heroes though. It does insignificant damage, 84, in accordance with Garrosh being a main tank, he doesn't have too high damage per se. Bloodthirst is his main damage ability, it's on a 12 second cooldown, that's 162 damage, and it will heal myself. The more health I'm missing, the more it will heal me for. Yes, yes, it does. Well done, uh, Doge. <laughs> Wrecking Ball is a 16 second cooldown ability that will activate on any nearby enemy hero, minion, or merc. I'm assuming it prioritizes. No, I assume wrong. It does not prioritize heroes, it will throw just about anything. Being on a 16 second cooldown, that also means you know, that uh, you cannot use it lightly or easily. The counterplay would be uh, making sure you're not isolated away from minions. And that's how it looks on the hero. It's a powerful ability that uh, is uh, going to be a little bit more hard to use. The trait is one armor for every 2% of maximum health missing. That means when you're at 1% life, you have 40 nine percent armor well, it doesn't really help you since you're going to be dead anyway heroic abilities heroic abilities are as follows choose a talent choose a talent warlord's challenge is an area of effect taunt that forces as you would expect every hero within range where the lost fight? There we go. Every hero within range to attack you. That's how it looks like. And we remove the cooldown so we can spam it. It's only on heroes. It's a silence as well. Now, variant taunt is also a silence, but it doesn't say so in the tooltip. So this is more of a clarity thing rather than it really being different from variant taunt. They've all got to attack me. As you can see, there's also a new UI thing. 40 armor is my current armor count. This is both physical and spell armor. It's armor across the board. That means that I have 43% damage reduction on myself. That makes shields while Garrosh is low HP extra, extra effective. If I'm at 10% life like I am now and I have a big shield, that shield also benefits from the 40% armor and that is pretty useful. So going to low HP, getting some help from Tassadar can be a quite powerful synergy. Okay, let's take a look at the talents. Talent. At level 1 we get Warbreaker. The more heroes you pull in, the more damage you end up doing on them. And you also get the cooldown reduction component. From 8 seconds you can bring it to 5 seconds. Unrivaled Strength increases the throw range of Wrecking Ball by 20% and doubles its damage, bringing it from 200 to 400 damage. Choose a talent. Hmm? I can't do it from across the gate. <laughs> Can I not do it from behind the gate?
Why? I lead from the front. Oh, I need to be very close, is it? Ah. You throw them further, but you still gotta be close to use it. Got it. Understood. Alright. Uh, level 4. Increase bloodthirst damage against non-heroic enemies by 60%. So we do 342 at level 20. Once you get this, we do 547. That means more heal as well. And when you kill someone, you get the cooldown reduction instantly, as well as the manacles reduction. Thirst for battle is a basic attack against heroes. CDR for bloodthirst. 2 seconds per hit, and it's total 12 seconds, so... Should give you an indication of how it could be useful. A lot of self sustain, a lot of damage. Indomitable is a 40 second cooldown, one and a half second unstoppable effect. Can be useful. Level 7, we have Brute Force, which we cannot pick because we didn't pick Body Check. It's the first talent that buffs the talent in the game. There we go. Groundbreaker reduces the attack speed of enemy, reduces the attack speed of heroes hit by 40% for 4 seconds. Choose a talent. They have reduced attack speed. Cool. Then you've got Oppressor. Basic attacks against heroes reduce their spell power. So you can choose. Interesting. So basic attacks against spell based heroes. Whereas you use Groundbreaker against auto attackers. And then you can also get into the fray. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Into the fray allows you to throw allied heroes. And you do that when you use uh, your one hotkey instead of your E. So they can be really useful. Uh, you know, on unwilling allies. Allies who are not as uh, excited to fight with you as you might be. Uh, even if they show a little bit of hesitation, don't let that discourage you. As uh, I assure you, it is a very effective strategy. Know your place. Level 10, the second heroic, is Decimate. Decimate is a 3 charge cooldown heroic on an 8 second cooldown. Uh, each charge has its own cooldown. So when you use it 3 times, it will take a total of uh, 24 seconds to recharge everything. One by one. Battle is close at hand. It does uh, pretty small damage, 110. It will do double on enemy heroes, so it will hit them for 220. Uh, and it will slow them as well for 30% per second, 30 for one and a half seconds. Quite spammable. Also, when you auto attack, ah, when you hit it on enemy heroes, it provides a CDR component, one second. This will apply simultaneously to all three charges that you may be holding. At level 13, we get the pooling a hero Choose with Groundbreaker talent. gives you a shield. 700 shield, in fact. Of course, you don't need to hit it. I pull one hero, I get a 700 shield. What I'm wondering is if you hit two heroes. Yeah, I got 1400 shield from that. No, I did not. I got 700 twice. Did you see that? You saw the two numbers from the... Uh, Groundbreaker, but your max is the same. Wait, your max is the same, right? Yeah, you get you get it twice, but the max is 700 as well. So you can only use it once. I mean, it will only give you that bonus once. Uh, Blood craves is. Choose a talent. Choose a Bloodthirst heals for an additional 10% over 3 seconds when you Choose hit a hero, a so let's try that out. Come over here. And that's that. Then you finally got uh, double up. You can press your D hotkey to get the bonus armor for a while. We're at uh, 37, 36 Choose armor right now. And then you can press it, and you have 69 armor for a bit. As you can see, your whatever it is called, horns. They're horns of a different kind, the one that you can play music through, maybe. Anyway, they light up, and that's a very clear visual indicator of just how tanky you are. 
Another cool thing, of course, now in the UI is that you can move the chat anywhere you want to. Keep in mind that when you put it here, you can't see the chat. You can also choose to cover up your talents, the minimap, wherever you want it. I've chosen to put it on the left middle for the time being. At level 16, we get heroes pulled in by Groundbreaker are slowed by 50% for 3 seconds. You can also get Wrecking Ball uh, combination together with Groundbreaker. Pull them in, Wrecking Ball them, and you get a 10 second cooldown reduction. Earthshaker finally Jesus is a throw of an enemy hero that stuns other heroes and the original target as well. 0.75 second stun. To me that looks like a very strong uh, ability. Of course I currently have a lot of cooldown reduction. It's bugged, of course. I mean, it, you know, it's a try mode thing. You can't really do it like that. Just showing off. And then finally, level 20. Increase the duration of your Warlord's challenge from one and a half to two seconds. If an enemy hero is killed while affected by Warlord's challenge, its cooldown is reduced by 45 seconds. So it'll be on a five second cooldown. Wow. Death Wish. My death wish, isn't it? Asking everyone to attack me over and over. It could be strong, but I don't know if we're going to be able to use that. Wrecking Ball now closest, throws the closest to enemies. Well done. Double kill. Interesting, not sure if we're going to be able to use that. Uh, let's go take a look at the second heroic upgrade. It's called Deadly Calm. Heroes hit by Decimate deal 20% less damage for 3 seconds. That one seems very powerful for, to me. Enemy slain. Double kill. That one seems very strong. And finally, Baby Choose Rage. A talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Baby Rage. Body check gains an additional charge. Body check being your... Oh yeah, your trait. And its cooldown recharges double as fast while armor is at 25. So 25 armor you require to be under half life. But either way, you've got two charges. Okay, that's Garrosh for you. Let's try him out. Gonna be playing some games. You should be able to see some gameplay here on my Twitch or on YouTube soon. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Ha, 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 ha.